Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 and the conclusion of this replay between Davy and KHB here on Steps of War. Banshee is coming in and a great call from David Kim in order to counter the immortals that were produced by KHB. So there was two immortals moving in with a large amount of zealots and some stalkers. The marauders were focusing down those stalkers in order to make sure that those banshees didn't have anything to worry about and those banshees able to survive and able to continue to push a single marauder sitting here now and now we have four banshees up in the air it's currently no fusion core down anywhere and most likely that is because um, um, the observers are just so easy to produce that he doesn't really want to tech any any units any or any um, cloak anyways it's not going to really give him that strong of a advantage but now oh we have phoenixes as a counter towards those banshees and those poor banshees unable to really fight back Phoenix is Phoenix and deal 10 or 20 damage per, um, per um, what round against the poor Banshee as the Banshee is a, considered a light mechanical unit just like the Mutalisk well not light mechanical light biological for a Mutalisk now we have a single Banshee coming into play perhaps that Banshee will be able to get a couple probe kills on the backhand side but another Phoenix being warped in or being built so definitely not looking good at this point and um, the single Marine in play as well so a single Phoenix now trying to come in Banshee going to be kind of trying to come in and trying to deal some harassment try to take down some of these probes but those Phoenixes move so quickly it's going to be able to take down that Banshee and nice counter so KHB quickly realizing and quickly changing up his tech in order to get those phoenixes phoenixes move so fast wow they have what is that a movement speed is fast so yeah that is a very very nice movement speed banshees on the other hand are normal movement speed so now we're probably going to see some vikings as well so vikings now being produced um, and those vikings are going to be there to counter those phoenixes we'll see how that really works out getting the secondary barracks or wow well, uh, fourth barracks getting four barracks right now one with a tech lab tech labs is, one is still producing marines we do not have any um stim pa stim pack research or combat shield research either right now also getting some cannons into play so khb versus david kim this game is still too close to call it really depends on that micro right now and who can really win we have an army of three banshees two vikings for the air with some marauders and some marines and right now most likely going to be trying to push into this position KHB with four phoenixes and is uh, going to be able to take that, uh, deal a lot of that damage so those banshees quickly trying to focus down they should probably be focusing down those immortals as those immortals are, are, are going to be the major problem if they can focus down and destroy those immortals that should be enough getting rid of the, the shields on those immortals and um, is going to be the problem and that immortal down to 37 hit points and KHB looking fairly good at this point. Taking a look at the army sizes right now, it is six or 70 for KHB versus David Kim's um, mere 50. Not looking good at this point. Um, David Kim does in fact have a lot of um, SCVs right now. No, it's only 29 SCVs, so he's not even out mining. So economically speaking, he is behind. So economically speaking, um, he, um, he is losing. Army size speaking, he is losing. Techs and um, tech wise, he is also losing. So things are not um, looking good for David Kim at this point. So KHB may be able to take this game, and this would be the first time I've seen David Kim lose. Um, right now we have Starport still being produced and now getting mass barracks. Wow, that's a lot of barracks. Is he going to go for And he's now re finally researching that combat shield, and he has not produced any medevacs though. That is a definite surprise right now. Also very, very low. Yeah, those starports now lifting up, most likely going to be used in order to create some... Um, are they going to go for reactors? No, no reactors. A little bit surprised by that, as they do need those reactors in order to produce more medevacs, since there is so many marines right now. Yeah, barracks now lifting off and going to be using those and um, those tech labs in order to pr try to produce more marauders, but those marauders um, might not be useful enough either. Two banshees up in the air, some some marines, marines trying to focus down those um, phoenixes, but I think this is going to be the end. Oh, using that graviton beam, picking up that single marauder, picking up those marauders, making them just up in the air, and that's going to be GG. So, very nice uses use of those phoenix, using that graviton beam, picking up those units, and just lifting them off in order to um, in order to nullify the marauders, and then having the other phoenixes finish off the rest of that army. Very nice play from KHB. KHB now using those void rays as well. The void rays, um, what, from what I've seen, the damage attack has changed. It's not like a focusing beam. It's more like of a fiery, or like a, a the prism needs to heat up. So if it, the, uh, K, if the void ray does not attack for a certain amount of time, then it starts to. 
um, then it starts to have to reset. So as long as the Void Ray is in constant combat, it will deal that maximum damage. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I hope that was. A, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. The great use of Phoenixes. Great use of Stalkers. Nice, um, nice counter attack by David Kim, but still not enough. Um, yeah, hope to see you guys on Battle.net. Thank you.